Let us look at how do we add new elements to a queue in this video. So what is queuing? Well queuing adds a new element to a queue and it always adds the new element to the back of the queue. We have already looked at the notation of queuing. Usually functions for queuing are named as queue and you have to pass the element that needs to be added to the queue. Let us look at a possible implementation scenario for a queue and this addition operation. So here is this interactive visualization tool wherein you can see how things happen. So this example is an array implementation of a queue. Now a queue has two sides, one is front and one is back and you need something to keep track of those two sides. So we have pointers here, one is front pointer, another is back pointer. So basically the front element stores the index of the first element and the back pointer stores the index of the last element. Since there is nothing in this queue, these both are pointing to minus one. That means the queue is empty. So let's queue the number 45. So I'll write 45 and then press the button queue. What just happened is basically the initialization of a queue and then addition of the first element. Now this seems complicated, but it's quite simple. The thing is you need to know where does front point and where does back point. Now when you add new elements to a queue, these elements go to the back of the queue. This means that you need to increment the back pointers. So for example, if I add a number 5 to the queue, you first increment the back pointer and then store the number 5, right? Now you might be wondering why is the value of front 0? Because initially it was pointing to minus 1. Well think about the definition of this front pointer front pointer always points to the front of the queue which means it points to the first element of the queue. When the queue was empty there was nothing to be pointed at so front was minus one. When the first element is added it is the first element as well as the last element so it is at the front of the queue as well as at the back of the queue. Hence when the first element is added both front and back pointer are initialized that means they point to that element. I hope this clears why we increment the front pointer for the first time. Now for the subsequent additions to the queue, we won't increment the front pointer. We would always increment the back pointer. So let's take another example. Let's push in the value 9. The queue. It's quite so. So what does queuing do? It basically increments the back pointer and then stores the value where the back pointer is pointing. Now at some point of time the memory in the array is going to get full. So when this happens we say that the queue is full. So when the back pointer is pointing to the last element which is the last element in the array actually no new elements can be added. So hence we say that the queue is full. So I'll add a few elements to this queue and make it full and then we'll see what happens. Now the queue is full and I'll not be able to add new elements to a queue. Now if I queue in something, it will say that the queue is full. Either you have to reset the queue or dequeue some element. But even if you dequeue or delete some elements, it won't make much difference. You will still not be able to add elements to the queue because you have reached the end of the array. So this was a quick implementation scenario for a queue and how do you perform a queuing operation. Next we will see the dequeue operation.